everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, my name is Jess and I love doing DIY, making clothes in a simply but free way. Last week, I shared with you how I make my midi skirts without using the zipper in two styles. They're very comfortable skirts that you can wear as your everyday outfit. But I think that a lot of you also want to have a fitted waist skirt that you can wear at your going out outfit. So we're going to make it in today's videos. And before we start, if you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you wouldn't miss my upcoming DIYs. And let's start sewing! The first step is making the pattern for the skirt. I fold the paper in half foot. Then from the folding line, I draw a straight line at one side of the paper. From this line, I draw another straight line at 20 cm next to it. It's the length from my belly button to the biggest part of my butt, which is also my middle butt. From the second straight line, I draw another straight line at 50 cm next to it. It's the length from my middle butt to over my knee. So the length from the foot to the third straight line will be 70 cm, which is the length from the belly button to over my knee. It's also the length of the skirt that I want. On the second straight line, from one end at the folding, I mark up at 25 cm, which is a quarter of my hip side blood 2 cm. On the first straight line, from one end at the folding, I mark up at 19 cm, which is a quarter of my waist side plus 3 cm. Then connecting two marks together. On the third straight line, from one end at the folding, I mark up at 33 cm, which is a quarter of my hip side plus 10 cm. Then connecting this mark to the mask on the second straight line. After that, I draw a slightly curved line on this line to make the side line for the skirt. From the first straight line, I draw another straight line at 1.5 cm next to it. Then drawing a slightly curved line from the end of the side line to this new straight line, so I can create a slightly curved line at the waistline of the skirt. Because of that, I make the ending line of the skirt a bit curved at the side line too. I measure the width of the waistline foot and mark at the middle later. Then I draw a horizontal line from this mark to the end of the skirt. After that, I drew two other horizontal lines one centimeter away from the first one. And you have the back pattern of the skirt after cutting. If you fold the back pattern at two horizontal lines, you will have two front pattern of the skirt. I use two meter of thick chip from fabric to make the skirt. Apply the pattern to the fabric and draw along. After that, I connect two pieces of the front together with the pink. From the waistline, I mark down at 30 cm, which is the length from the belly button to over the crotch, so the rest will be the selected part of the skirt. Therefore, I just sew from the waistline to this mark. 
After sewing, I fold the end fabric at the selected part inside two times and sew to finish it. Now I'm connecting the front and the back of the skirt together at the side line. On one side line, I mark down from the waistline 20 cm, which is the length of the zipper I will use. It will be the zipper area of the skirt, so I won't sew this part to install the zipper later. After sewing, I fold the end fabric inside two times and sew to finish the end of the skirt. Moving to the waistline, I remeasure the waist part and it's 37 cm which is 5 cm bigger than a half of my waist side. So I need to take in 4 cm. Therefore, I make two dots with 1 cm width and around 13 cm length. Doing the same for the front and the back of the skirt. Make sure the final width of the waistline after that should be a half of your waistline plus 1 cm for seam allowance. I cut a rectangle with 8 cm width and 66 cm length, which is my waistline plus 2 cm for seam allowance. It's also the width of the waistline. So you can connect one length line of the rectangle to the waistline. After the first seam, I fold the other length line of the rectangle inside 1 cm first, then keep folding it over the first seam and make the second seam to finish the waistband of the skirt. The last step is installing the invisible zipper at the zipper area that I kept before that. And I finished this DIY. Here's my final result. This is a fistic gray skirt, so it will be suitable for your going out. The selected legs also make you look sexy as well. If you want to skirt a big little squeak, you can add a ruffle hem at the end of the skirt by using the same way to make the main part of the skirt, but not sewing the slitted part yet. Remeasure the width at the end of the skirt first, then cut a rectangle with 20 cm length, which is the length of the ruffle that you want, and the length is one and a half times the width of the end of the skirt. Add one length line. I fold the end fabric inside two times and sew to finish it. At the other length line, I make a loose seam first, then I create the gathering fabric later. Make sure the final width of the gathering fabric will be the same with the width at the end of the skirt, so you can connect them together later.
After that, I finish the selected part by folding the end fabric inside two times and sew it together. And here's the result of this skirt. It feels so vintage with this style. So I hope you will try them both. See you next week.